Hi everyone, welcome back to another Reddit cheating story. Before we start, please hit the subscribe button and notification bell if you love to watch more cheating stories. If you want to know how to get back your ex-girlfriend and boyfriend, click the link below. Cheated 17 times over two and a half years. I need advice. Prior to my partner and I dating they had been in several abusive relationships. The most recent before ours involved heavy physical and emotional abuse that left them with some pretty bad trauma. They have been cheated on in past relationships and it messed with their self-esteem badly. After their last relationship they had quite an intense, ho era, sleeping with pretty much anyone that was down. I think it became a coping mechanism for their low self-esteem after being so abused. Throughout our relationship it became clear to me they had developed a sex addiction of some sort, at the least a serious issue with turning down a potential sexual encounter. At first I was hurt as anyone would be as I didn't understand why they would do things but I stayed as I trusted them when they said they genuinely weren't trying to harm me and they struggle with impulse control. I know by doing so I was heavily enabling them to treat me poorly. I just couldn't let go of something that was otherwise so good over it. As it continued I tried to accommodate by being open instead of monogamous however it was hard and one-sided as I'm not really one for hookups. They struggled to follow the boundaries we'd set so I called it off as I was still being hurt and not comfortable and they were okay with that as they didn't want to keep hurting me. Time went on and things would be okay for a while but then I'd find out they'd slept with someone again. They slowly got better with telling me when something had happened rather than being consumed by guilt and putting off telling me. That honesty meant a lot to me so I stayed and was willing to keep working through as it gave me hope. Things would seem to have improved but they didn't and we stayed in this cycle. They eventually accepted that they have a sex addiction and need therapy after admitting themselves into a psych ward last year when their mental health got severely worse. We stayed together for a bit following this and attempted an open again to try and ease some of their guilt while they worked on sorting out therapy however it became too much for me as again, they didn't follow the very few boundaries we had set and hadn't gotten anywhere with sorting out therapy. We are currently not together. They want to get better so we can be, and they still talk of a future where things are better which we both want greatly. We are still close and I see them regularly as I have to stay at theirs for work. Won't explain cuz not that relevant other than I can't no contact them rn. Last night someone messaged me confessing to having hooked up with them two years ago at a party that I was also at earlier that night. I called them and asked and was quite upset as I thought we were on the same page about things that had happened during our relationship and just wanted clarity. I managed to get a couple more scenarios out of them that I wasn't aware had happened. Some with people who I was once good friends with and now I understand why they've disappeared from my life a bit, likely out of guilt. I am very upset and don't know what to do. I care about them and their well-being greatly and love them so much. I know they still feel the same about me and keep expressing that they want nothing more than to be better for me. I just am losing hope as it's very hard to trust that things could ever be better. I've only been in a few somewhat long-term relationships thus I'm not great at being single and chilling with myself while they work through shit. I don't want to and can't bring myself to move on emotionally but I don't know how else I can process the trauma and emotional damage I have from this. I feel like I have no self-respect for letting myself be treated so poorly for so long, but if I could trust 100% that they will be able to find peace within themselves and be okay I'd happily go through it again. I know they're hurting too and going through more than I can comprehend and it's not something that could ever be worked through quickly. I just don't know what to do with myself. I want to wait for it to seem more possible that they can do right by me and work on healing myself in the meantime but with each day it feels less and less likely to work out and I worry I'm damaging myself more with false hope. I've left a lot out of this but it's already an essay so I figure any further details aren't important. This is more event than anything but if anyone has taken the time to read this, any help would mean so much to me. I feel so broken and at a loss. Edit I should add that we were engaged. I was a bit hesitant for obvious reasons but we went ahead with it as we both valued our relationship and had hope for it over this shit. Here are the best comments, advices that I gathered for this wonderful story. You need to accept that you will be in a one-sided open relationship with this person forever if you stay with them. Or, break it totally off, go no contact, heal yourself, and go find a better partner. You have all the info, you just need to make a decision as to what you are willing to live with. I have never seen anyone with this severe behavior make any meaningful changes in my real life. I honestly think you aren't compatible as partners and need to realize that you will be in a one-sided open relationship for the rest of your life. I personally would not marry someone that had betrayed me over and over again that I was fundamentally so incompatible with. There's no magic pill to turn this situation into the relationship you truly desire. I think you just need to realize that whilst you may love them, you're not good for each other as partners. Strict no contact is the best way to heal. 
Wishing you the best. How to handle the in-between stage. At best you start to work on yourself. You need to relearn to respect yourself and to say, no. I am sorry to tell you this so directly but by the way you handled your partner's cheating and boundary crossing, you also enabled them. Right now it is not only your partner that can't be in a relationship, the same goes for you as well. You have been hurt and abused by your partner and need to work that out. You need to see yourself as an individual again before you can think about a relationship with anyone. In my opinion, it would be best to reduce the contact to your former partner to an absolute minimum or better to go no contact for agreed upon time. Maybe a year. Use that time to work on yourself and to find yourself again just like your partner needs to work on themselves. Meet again after a year and find out where each of you stand and what your expectations are. In addition, please also go to a doctor and get tested for STDs, with that amount of partners, it is possible that your partner got a STD and maybe you as well. Better safe than sorry. More cheating story. Can you truly forgive a spouse who has cheated? My, 26 meters, husband had an emotional affair with multiple women on Reddit the whole time I was pregnant. I found out about it after I had a friend reach out to me after I got out of the hospital with my son in a fresh c-section. What tipped me off is she said about two weeks earlier my husband tried to kiss her while no one else was around. I then decided to go through his phone, on a gut feeling, and found the multiple women on Reddit he was messaging or commenting under their half-naked pictures. He would ask them to be his wife or would ask them how much it would cost to make them his wife and tell them how pretty they are or how beautiful they were. Of course none of the women looked like me, a woman who had gained a bunch of weight while pregnant and has stretch marks everywhere. They were the women who were perfectly slim and not a blemish or stretch mark in sight. He even was talking to them in the hospital just hours after I had my c-section and our brand new baby was next to him. That's what broke me. I thought maybe he wasn't attracted to me anymore? I cried for days until I finally had the courage to ask him about it and he said, I don't know what's wrong with me. Maybe I need therapy. Maybe I am just a sex addict and I don't know why I can't just control myself. I felt so bad. Like I was the bad person because I snooped and found it all out. I talked to him about going to couples counseling and after a year he finally just started taking me seriously about it maybe a month ago, when I said I was done and wanted a divorce. Now we have been to one session so far but I just don't know if I can actually forgive him for everything he has put me through and how bad he has made me feel not only as a person but as a wife as well. I kind of wonder what's even the point of going to therapy when all I think about is being divorced from him. Has anyone been through a situation like this? Has anyone actually forgive a spouse and have it work out after you thought it was done? Thanks for reading. Here are the best comments, advices that I gathered for this wonderful story. Yes, but it doesn't mean you have to stay with them. Forgiveness is a choice. You do it for your own peace of mind. Trust is something completely different. Trust is a bank. When the withdrawals significantly exceed the deposits in the trust bank, you should close their account and move on. There is no coming back from some things. Op. Forgive yes, because it's about me letting go of my negative emotions concerning her cheating. Forget never, nor will I ever give her the opportunity to repeat her betrayal because she has already shown me how much she cares about me. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Stay tuned for more cheating story.